Yeah, you read that title correctly. $10 macro lens. Should you buy it? Absolutely. All right, before we get into it, make sure you guys are subscribed. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we're gonna do a little contest, a little game with all this macro lens, macro photography stuff. And I'm gonna be giving away an Amazon gift card to the winner. So stay tuned for the rules. We're gonna do that at the end of the video. Now, if you're anything like me, you love macro photography. It looks so cool when you're like zoomed in on like a spider's eye. Whoa, Pfft, mind blowing. Whoa. But you can't justify the cost. I'm not gonna go out and spend, you know, almost two grand for a lens that, what, takes really close up pictures of rocks? It's very cool to see all the textures and stuff that you don't see every day, but it's also so hard to justify spending that money when you know that you can't really sell the product, you can't really use it to earn money. Hang on, my dog is going berserk, so I need to go see what she's dealing with. Come on, me, I'm filming. 12 seconds later. Oh my god. Sorry about that, folks. My dog is old and fat and can no longer jump up onto the couch, so she cries until you lift her up. Anyway, back to the macro lens. So as much as it is difficult to justify buying an actual macro lens, this is the absolute best solution, and I'll tell you why. Pros and cons. Pros, it's 10 bucks. Okay, I can think of like a thousand better ways to spend $10. Lottery scratch cards, because you never win those. Uh, buying two Red Bulls at the gas station. Who needs them? It's not even healthy for you. Save your 10 bucks and pick this bad boy up. It is a great introduction to macro photography. I don't know why you wouldn't at least try it, even though we both know you're not gonna get the same quality as an actual $2,000 macro lens. And that brings me to the cons. Around the edges of the photo, it gets very blurry and like sort of warped. You have this like warp speed like effect going on. If you're going for that, great, 10 bucks and you don't even have to worry about photo editing afterwards. It's fantastic. However, it's not like an actual macro lens where it just has a very shallow depth of field. It's noticeable warping. You can see that in the pictures that I'm probably overlaying as I talk. The other big downside for me is that autofocus doesn't work. It'd be nice to just have your camera set up, you know, half press the button and it focuses on what you're doing. But with the macro lenses and the macro photography, your subject is pretty close and probably not moving all that much. So you can't actually switch it into manual focus and focus it yourself. Not ideal, but also not the biggest problem in the world. And if that's a huge problem for you, just be better. Now, I left a link in the description down below. You guys can pick these up yourselves. The only thing you have to do is make sure you're buying the right one for the right filter thread on your camera. So my 24 to 105 lens and my 85 millimeter lens both have a 77 milliliter, milliliter, <laughs> both have a 77 millimeter thread. So I picked this one up, works on both of them. And I tested it on the 24 to 105 because I wanted to see what it would look like at the different focal lengths, what kind of results you're able to produce at each distance. Now I found that at 24 millimeters, nice and wide angle, you still get a lot of zoom and you get a lot sharper images than at 105. That's because of the focal length, but also you don't get as much warping as you do at 105. However, it kind of just looks like you're just zooming in. You know what I mean? It is a 10 times magnifier, so like, it looks like you're taking a shot at 250 millimeters. Millimeters, not milliliters, Daniel. And then at 105, that's when you start getting that real macro feel. You know, you zoom in on like shoelaces or plants and stuff, and you're seeing textures and things that you don't normally see or appreciate with the human eye. It's cool, but you lose a lot of detail and a lot of warping around the edges, and that kind of sucks, but for 10 bucks, it's definitely not a deal breaker. Now the biggest downside for me, the only thing that I would kind of consider a deal breaker is that the camera has to be at a fixed distance. Now with the 24 to 105 lens, I found that it's probably about six to eight inches away from the subject and you have to leave the camera there. You can't zoom into 105 and take five steps back to get a whole different perspective. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. It would work like that on an actual macro lens. I've seen people use like 100 millimeter macro lenses for like portraits and stuff like that. 
Unfortunately, you can't do that with this one. As soon as you start walking away or moving away from the subject, at 24, it just looks blurry. At 105 millimeters, it's just nothing. You, you can't even tell what you're looking at, what you're focusing on. But that being said, I understand why, like the curvature of this lens it is just, <sighs> So that makes sense to me. If you're buying this, you're using it in such a way that you're getting really close to your subject, you're taking very up close, like really detailed shots, probably of something that doesn't move too, too much. But again, I feel like I should just have a constant banner at the bottom that says, for 10 bucks, you really can't go wrong because that's what it ultimately comes down to. Like it's not a perfect lens, there are issues with it, but you don't need to buy a brand new lens. You can just screw this onto your lens. If you have two or three different lenses with different threads, buy two or three, what's 20 bucks? What's 30 bucks? It's, it's not a deal breaker. You're not gonna break the bank playing with it. It's a great foot in the door. It's the gateway drug to macro lenses. Another thing you're gonna wanna do if you purchase this when you're shooting, this I guess also applies to any macro lens, is I like to shoot at around f11 and up, all the way up to like f22. The reason being is that when you're zoomed in that close to an object with like, at like 105 with the macro filter on, the depth of field, the area of focus is so razor thin, it's so sharp, it's so shallow that you might not get you know 90% of that photo in focus people will just be looking at a sliver now that could be used as a technique when it comes to editing and how you want to display it if that's your, what you're doing with your subject matter great go for it but I find that shooting at like f11 and up gives you a little bit more so you're seeing a little bit more that focus that depth of field opens up a bit and so you can kind of appreciate more details in that given area another thing to note is that when you're shooting at f11 or higher you gotta just flood whatever you're shooting with light. I mean, you can see that in the viewfinder. Most of you watching are, well, advanced enough that you know how to use the camera features in that regard. And I would say, flood it with light, shoot it like F20. You're gonna get some really cool macro results. Here's some of the pictures that I got. Now, some of you watching might be thinking, could I use it for video? Does it hold up for an awesome B-roll sequence? It doesn't. Unfortunately, this little guy is not great for video. You could find specific uses for it within a video sequence perhaps, but it's not gonna stand alone and make a whole B-roll sequence on its own. As you can see in the video, it is damn near impossible to have any sort of moving shots because that area of focus is so shallow. Even at 24 millimeters, it, like your video gets so blurry so quickly that it's just unusable. And I think that's the biggest downfall is that you can't move around with it. In that little mini sequence, most of those shots were on a tripod fixed and that just isn't as impactful when it comes to a B-roll sequence. You want that movement, you want, you know, those Daniel Schiffer-esque little swipes and all, it, you can't do it, it just, you're focusing on nothing. If I were to redo that whole sequence with moving parts, you, you wouldn't see anything. You'd probably just shut this video off if you haven't already. Wait, if you have, you're not watching this. <sighs> so, to summarize, people, if you wanna experiment with macro photography, this is the move, okay? It's not the best lens, it's not perfect, you're not gonna get National Geographic quality photos from it, but also, you don't have to spend two grand to play with something. It's a $10 purchase, I don't even know if you guys can comment down below and name more accessories you can get for your camera for 10 bucks. I don't even know if they exist. Point is, links in the description, just pick it up. I'm not making any money off that link. I just want you guys to try it out. It's a great introduction to macro photography. Do it. And if you're still here, guess what? It's contest time. I have scoured my house in and out, taking all kinds of photos 
I'm gonna show you 10 photos on the screen. The first person to guess what all 10 photos are correctly, you gotta tell me what they are, you're gonna get an Amazon gift card. So watch this, and the first person to get it wins. Go time. Did you get it? Do you think you have what it takes to list all 10 of those items correctly? Hurry up, clock's ticking. If you're not doing it right now, somebody else might be. You know what, I don't think I get enough comments on my videos for that to be an issue, but see if you can't figure it out. Like I said, first one to figure out all 10 correctly is getting a gift card, so go time. In the meantime, folks, once you're done entering the little, this is what the 10 items are, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like the video, share it with your friends. If you know someone who's looking for a macro lens, but they're like, man, I can't justify it. Pick one up for them or just send them the link if you don't want to buy it for them. But the point is, I hope this helped. If it did, subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love ya.